Uh, hey YouTube, another deck profile. I finally got the Neonectar promo that gives you tokens and made Neonectar tier 1 when it came out in Japan, but not when it came out here because it came out here kind of late or something. I don't really remember. Uh, I got them thanks to Richard, so thanks Richard, I appreciate it. I think they're, they were for my birthday, right? Something like that. Cool. So I have them now, and I changed the deck list, so I'm going to give you the deck list now because you want it. So running Kira, it's literally the only starter we have, so yoink. Uh, four copies of Cecilia. We got one of the fine one, one of the ugly one, and two of the good one. Uh, it's a good card because it's your boss unit. You counter boss one, retire something, check up five, call two, or if you have a three in soul, call three, and they get front row gets 10k. You, it's the best fucking grade three to have on Van. It's really good. I love it. Um, it's the boss. We love uh, Kalia. Uh, next, three copies of Trailing Rose, which is probably going to be what you want to ride first. It uh, gives you plant tokens on place, two on Van, one on rear, and also gives plant tokens 5k at a soul blast one cost. So, um, it's good. It gives you just power, free, free field. Uh, if you're playing against retiring decks, it gives you a free just card to not be retired. It's good. I like it. I like her a lot. She's wholesome. Next, new addition, two copies of Exploding Tomato, especially due to the, uh, promo. You run a sh you, you get a lot of tokens. This gives you, turns access tokens into hand advantage, and it also becomes tokens after it attacks, but I don't, honestly, I've never felt the need to do that. I honestly just get enough tokens that I just kind of sack the tokens and, um, turn them into hand advantage, so, yeah. It's good. It's good at two. Uh, yeah. Running nine grade threes, which is fun. Uh, next, four copies of Ceci uh, Sylvia. I finally got all of my ORs, which is neat. Um, it's on play, get a token. It's free advantage and standard. It's good. Um, it's pretty. And yeah, run it at a four because it's one of the best ones because it's a, it's a free plant token. Uh, four copies of Ermin Soul because, again, uh, more hand advantage. Uh, gives tokens power, so it's a nice combination of tomato. It's a diet combination of tomato and Trailing Rose's second ability. Uh, it's great going... Second, it's it's just a really good card because it's power, dr hand advantage. Yeah, it's love my fucking tree. We love Groot in this household. Next, we're running three copies of the Hell Yeah Mail Day. Um, we love running th only three copies of the promo just because um, four felt really clunky because if you ride it and you weren't able to generate a token with Mirka or Fruits Basket Elf and you can't ride Sylvia because it's not in your hand, it's literally a vanilla. And if you get it too late in the game when you already have an established board, it doesn't do anything because you have to call tokens to open rears. So honestly, three is really, I found honestly just been fine with three as the ratio for it. But yeah, it's, it's good. I like it. And like, yeah, you don't, Kaivon's fine, but like, I honestly haven't felt the need to run Kaivon over her. Four copies of Rebecca. It's another way of getting rid of excess tokens because it bounces and it gives cards 5k, so it's a bit more power. Yeah, really good. We love that bounce action. Four copies of Merka, your ride target 100% of the time because on ride or call, so last one, call a token to the column. So it's another token. It helps de-brick Sunlight Garden Guide if you have to ride it. And yeah, it's advantage starting turn one. It's basically Forerunner, which is great. Um, I'm kind of turboing through this because other than Exploding Tomato and Sunlight Garden Guide, the deck is basically the same. So like, yeah, I, there's not much change because Neonector hasn't gotten support in almost a year. Uh, four copies of Fruits, Basket Elf, Soul Blast, Kill Itself, Call Two Dudes, and if you're at Grade 3, they get, the tokens get an additional 5k. Really good friggin' Grade 1. 
because it's just tokens. Still running one copy of Craig because it gives it turns tokens into bigger numbers and even bigger if you call them with Fruits Basket Elf. And I have the one slot free, so it's good. Uh, the only real deck uh, list you can play with standard for a not Excel deck is four draw, four heal, eight crit. Um, you don't want to run more draws in this deck because you don't really need it. You get you have field advantage. You deck thin. You don't you don't need more draws. You just don't. Uh, yeah, that was a deck profile that took five minutes and forty seconds. So. Thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day!